Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. Hope everybody's well. Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp babies, it is time for your November into December reading. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. It resonates with you? Cool. It's not really a moon rising or Venus reading because this is like sun cusp specific, but I do this special for you guys every month because cuspers are interesting people. You're a mix and that mix can be fun and can be volatile at the same time, but you're precious. All right. If you're new here, thanks for coming down. If you're returning, where the hell you been? Missed you. Anybody new and old could hit the like button at any time. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and think that you might want to, you can do so now. That'd be super cool. Don't forget the notification bell so you know when I upload. It's going to be a weird experience the next couple months because uploads are going to be spaced out a little bit. They're changing my schedule at work. So, yeah, I've had a long week. Anywho, enough about that. Time and energy are both fluid. Things can still be vice versa. And if you're a cross watcher up in here, you are going the extra mile to figure your person out, aren't you? I gotta give that props. Alright. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. And once again, if it's just not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. Alright. Aquarius Pisces. Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. One more good one, and I think we got it. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp babies in my collective, or any who may watch this reading. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring any and all querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. The star. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're healing. Aquarius, it just happens to be your card. Hmm. Find out about that challenge in a second. Could just be you're sick of being single, but we'll figure it out. Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Swords. Huh! Why is it happening? Magician reversed, Two of Wands reversed, King of Pentacles in the upright. Challenge. Sorry. Outcome. Five of Wands, make or break. Six of Wands, bottom of the deck. Six of Swords reversed. Huh.
Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for the challenge? Two of Swords to the Three of Swords. You're healing, but you're sick of being single. Some of you may be struggling with the decision to finally process your heartbreak and move forward. Or some of you may be struggling with the decision to break someone's heart. One more. Four of Wands reversed into the Five of Wands reversed. Yeah. That feels like setting a tower down without there being conflict. You're avoiding conflict. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Reversed, moon reversed. The moon into the sun. Things are shrouded. It's not the cup itself, it's what's in the cup. Three of Wands to the Four of Wands. Some of you could be waiting for illumination before you take a cup. Try to rebuild. What? All right, why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? She's kind of like the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Needy, dependent, down on herself. Five of Cups, you're still processing heartbreak. Justice reversed. You gotta process this heartbreak to get to the Six of Cups to get things back into balance. But you gotta not be so down on yourself. You being down on yourself and being hung off on a situation of why something didn't work out, it's gonna prevent a new start. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Three of Cups to the Four of Cups. Weird offshoot. Not sure who this is for. You might meet someone at a party and you're not sure about what's in the cup. I keep hearing the question is what the hell's in the cup? Queen of Cups reversed. Yeah. You're not going to give your heart away right away. You're going to have a hard time with it because you're still healing. You don't want to be single anymore, but you need to process what you need to process. Why is this all happening? Why is the magician reversed? Temperance and the devil. Six of swords reversed to the seven of swords reversed.
Could be a Sagittarius. Could be a Capricorn. Could be an Aries. I got just about every sign on the board. And somebody came back wanting to make things right, but it only inevitably made things worse. Five of swords, six of swords. I feel like you rose above it and you moved on. Why the two of wands reversed? Ten of wands, ace of wands. I think you were left at the crossroads for a while, but eventually you chose to release the burden and try to start something new. Magician reverse. Full upright to the magician, magician reverse to the high priestess reverse. Wow. They prevented you from moving on for so long. Every time you tried to pull away. Because you wanted new or you wanted better, they would jerk you right back. And this is why you can't get this new start now. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Wands to the Three of Wands, Seven of Swords reversed to the Eight of Swords reversed. They messed with you so bad. Oh my god. The lovers in the chariot. Wow. It's that push pull. It's that. God, they fucked with your head. One of those lovers. Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> so. Wow. I mean, it's a slow growing seed. I feel like somebody may have been juggling. So they, they strung you along. They strung you along. Brings us back up here to this avoidance of conflict. You don't want conflict with this person. But they strung you along. Okay, why is the Five of Wands the outcome? I feel like this is just going to pop off into a huge conflict. When you finally do pull away and pull away for good. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. King of Swords. This is going to be painful. This is going to suck. This is going to cause some anxiety. There's probably going to be some sleepless nights, but inevitably you're going to be fine. You just need to make a logical, non emotional decision. Don't let them keep coming back and screwing with you. Queen of 
Queen of Coins reverse, Ten of Coins reversed. And taking away your self worth. Why the King of Wands? Or sorry, why the Six of Wands for the Maker Break? Why the Six of Wands for the Maker Break? Seven of Coins, Eight of Coins. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. You need to invest in you. You need to love you. You need to put your energy into you. You need to move on from this and find your inner peace and happiness. Because they're just going to keep coming back. One more on this Six of Wands. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Choose the new. They're just going to keep coming back. Eight of Wands. To the Nine of Wands. Forward movement. I would definitely be guarded. <laughs> I would definitely be guarded. All right. Give me... Give me a crystal power, please. Crystal power. King of Wands, nice. I'm successful in all I do. Three of Pentacles, when I show my work, others give support. I trust my ideas and my direction. Seven of Pentacles, you gotta be more patient with yourself. That's ten pentacles right there, by the way. Do the math. There's success coming. I'm successful in all I do. Three and seven is ten. I think there's great success in moving on. One more. Why not? Six wands. I am proud of what I achieve and I accept my rewards. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. Create what you want, friends. If you want happiness, joy, and bliss and new, go forth and create it. All right. New Wisdom Oracle for my Aquarius Pisces cusp babies. Time to go. Go the distance. Time to go. It's one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards. Time to go. One of my favorites. 45. You're at the end of one journey, have not yet begun the next. In this moment, this is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There's nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk. Move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Go the distance, number 47. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current joy. <laughs> fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities. So there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. 
What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. All right. Aquarius, Pisces, cuss babies. Know that you love to be blessed. I will catch you guys next month.